It appears to be the end of a long legal battle for four B.C. First Nations who were waging against the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion project. This morning, the Supreme Court of Canada said it would not hear their appeal, and as usual, no reason was given. Our Greg Harper has been following this story all morning for us, and he is live in Burnaby. Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Mary. Yeah, here at the Westridge uh, Terminal just off the Barnett Highway in Burnaby, I've seen a number of protests here in the past. Uh, that's not taking place here today. We are seeing lots of activity, though, as construction here at the terminal continues. Huge expansion here. They're, they're building uh, three berths, uh, so this terminal can eventually handle more capacity and more equipment as well. Is the fight against the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion project, is it over? Well, it's a big blow here for, uh, for BC uh, First Nations who have been uh, fighting this. The decision from the Supreme Court of Canada coming down just before 7 o'clock this morning, the court uh, deciding not to hear an appeal from several B.C. First Nations on Ottawa's second approval of the project. You may remember earlier this year, the Federal Court of Appeal found the government's second approval of the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion project reasonable under the law. Now, leaders of the Slaywood Tooth and Squamish nations say there wasn't enough consultation that was done with the Indigenous groups, and they have called the appeal court's decision earlier this year a setback for reconciliation. I believe they're set to react to this uh, decision right about now, and we'll have something uh, later on in the show for you on that. Now, the, the government has responded. Canada's Minister of Natural Resources, Seamus O'Regan, has issued a statement uh, shortly after uh, this decision uh, saying uh, the government approved the expansion project uh, because it's an important project uh, for Canada. He also adds uh, to those who are disappointed with today's decision, we see you and we hear you. Now, construction on the pipeline, that began la last month, the beginning of June in Kamloops. Mary, over to you. Okay.